had it again, y'all. Hey, I changed from the long sleeve beige color shirt I had on earlier. I had it on earlier because it was cold outside. Now it's hot outside. And I changed into a yellow t-shirt. <laughs> yellow seems to be my color lately. This is not the same yellow shirt I had on in 40 or 50 other videos. That was a, what do you call it? a Magellan shirt that sometime I wear to town. T-shirts don't ever go to town. They just, they're just for working. I am on my second load of laundry this morning. Fed the birds, fed the dog, fed the cat, fed the squirrels, and I have been mowing. I am so glad I got my Husqvarna mower running again. It is my favorite. It can do things that none of the others can do. So I'm enjoying mowing. I normally don't mow early because there's dew on the ground, but with my work schedule, I gotta mow early or it doesn't get mowed and it is getting out of hand, so I am mowing. I'll just rinse the deck off top and bottom good when I finish take a shower, shave, and go to work. My second reading today is in Proverbs also, chapter 17, verses 1 through 5 and 13 through 28. Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife. Bam! A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causeth shame and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The fining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord trieth the hearts. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Bam. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. <clears throat> the beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Let me read that again. He that justifieth the wicked, and I feel like that happened in court yesterday, but that's not for me to judge. And he that condemneth the just, and I feel like that happened yesterday, but that neither is for me to judge. Even they bo both are an abomination to the Lord. Bam. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it? A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands, and becometh surety in the presence of his friend. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. He that hath a froward heart findeth no good, and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief. He that begetteth a fool doeth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her that bear him. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for equality, for equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Me shutting my lips is hard to do, but I did it. I love y'all, and hopefully I'll be back with another one later.
I got to go mow some more. I just now took clothes out of the washer and put them in a the dryer. And when they're done, then I'll hopefully come back. In the meantime, I'll be mowing some more.